just yet with decent equipment. I'll just do what I do with my other heroes and get some looter equipment to put them with for now. And I forgot to level up. I'll take care of that in a moment. Some more master archers, always useful. I'm not sure what skill I really want at the moment. I'll have some riding. Never hurts to be better on your horse. Hopefully we can find some bandits or something to kill along the way. Oh, and there's Marnit, another hero that I like. So we are quite uh, decked out with heroes for now. There's, I think, one more that I'd want to guess. But this is a, quite a good number of heroes. Considering how long I've been looking for them. I don't think he really has any equipment, but... You know, unlucky for him. And I think what we'll do is go check where there's normally some sea raiders over by River Chegg. And you can get really good equipment from those guys. So we'll just uh, shimmy across the map here quickly. You can normally find them around River Chegg and Udnard, and quite often, ah, see, quite often there will be a Syria to Landon, which is like their bandit hideout, over here somewhere, which it looks like there is, because there is a lot of sea raiders in the area. And these guys give really good equipment, like chain mail and good shields. And quite a lot of enemies this time, but some of them were just tundra bandits, and all they have is... They're pretty much forest bandits. They have bows and arrows. You know, they like to pretend they're Robin Hood. And I think I've lost a Mamluk somewhere. That or he got stuck in my blob of infantry back there. Ah, there he is. As you can see, chainmail. I really like chainmail for my men. Because it's easy to get if you find sea raiders. And it's got decent enough stats that they won't just get completely annihilated every time they get into a fight. Starting off with your mirror and a little kitchen knife. I think she should go make me a sandwich, personally. That's good old-fashioned family sexism right there. Nothing like the good old days, you know? If all women could vote, shackled to the kitchen sink, pregnant and barefoot. I'm only joking, by the way, I'm not quite that sexist. I would at least give them some shoes. And another easily won fight. I think Morn had got himself knocked out, but, you know, screw him. And the equipment I got from this wasn't actually that good, but I will be taking that Nordic shield for me. But, you know, it's better than nothing. 
It's at least some basic equipment for my man. And woman. I think we'll make Yumira an archer as well because she's rather fragile. But right now she doesn't really have the stats for that, so she can she can't use that axe. Um she can't use bloody anything apparently. Have a sword. And a shield. There you go, she's some kind of light infantry now. And no, she can't even use that, okay. Oh, she's leveled up actually, so wrong button, never mind. She needs some strength right now and leadership as well because she will probably end up being a lord as well. Now that she has seven strength, she can use an axe if... No, maybe she can't. That one needs nine. But she can wear that hat. Now isn't that just sexy? My men are getting quite good now. I think I'll hit the river chag and sell this stuff before I hunt down them sea raiders there. Or tiger bandits as I think they actually turned out to be. At least this guy has a decent amount of money to give me. I think after the next battle we'll equip Marnard and Jeremus because I forgot to do it then and I couldn't be bothered to go get that equipment back. And there's a sea raid of landing, we'll go attack that. Because this has probably been here since near the start of this game. So it should have quite some decent loot inside it now. I really need to equip Jeremus because he's running around in a man dress with a stick. It's not really uh, the kind of thing I want my heroes wearing. Ymir is probably fine like that for an archer because you want your archers to be quite mobile. These throwing weapons aren't exactly accurate, but the fun when they do hit, I quite enjoy seeing someone ride around with a spear sticking out of his jugular vein like nothing's happened. Oh no, that's a master archer. Look at him go. I thought that was Jeremus for a second there because I think that's the armor Jeremus wears. I still haven't equipped the Shavi either. She needs some better armor just so she looks presentable. And look at that invisible wall there with arrows sticking out of it.
Not sure where my master archer is. I think that's him over there. Getting chopped up. Yes, it is. And we won. Hopefully, ah, some decent equipment for the two new guys. And some chicken and cheese. You know, so we got some new clothes and dinner. Just like a day out at the beach, I suppose. No one actually managed to level up off that. But I'll get over it. Which one's better? This one is actually. There you go, Jeremus. You can wear red. And you can have an axe. No, you can't. You can't use that. Um, can you use that? No, you can't. Have a sword. Marnard was my other new guy. Oh, Marnard does have a weapon. He's got a stick. Well, no. Just no. So that's Jeremus in red and Marnard in blue. Should be easy enough to tell them apart. You can at least have an axe. Better than a bloody stick. Okay, so we'll go sell this stuff off. Sell off the chicken because that'll go rotten, but this dried meat won't, so I'll be keeping hold of that because it puts party morale up quite a bit. And that would be quite nice to have, or even that. That'll do because it's nice and cheap. And what do they look like on me? They look deserty. Oof, that's expensive. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll treat myself to some new desert gloves. Five C raiders. Well, we'll see if we can catch them. We actually will be able to catch them. Well, we would have been able to, but it turned night time. Aha! Now who is that? Twelve tundra bandits. This is just some more XP for my men, hopefully. Just have them charge the enemy randomly. I may get horses for my other two heroes as well. I'm probably not even going to get involved in this fight. I'll just watch them chew up the enemy. I'll do there. Grab all this stuff. As you can see, I really like to put charisma up, knowing that my men are going to become lords at some point. That's probably going to bring an end to this recording session, because it will have been the first time I've tried it. I want to see how the videos come out when I record longer sessions like this. And I will see you next time.